Hey everyone, it's Average Gatsby, and welcome to my Hammerhead Firewalker Mission uh, downloadable content guide. Uh, we all just got this free downloadable content today if you got the Cerberus Network and spent uh, a few hours playing it, uh, beat it all, and anyway, wanted to put this guide out there just for people to come and check it out. Now, these missions don't necessarily need a guide, at least some of them don't. So for those missions, I've decided to play or show you the, the fastest way that you can get through the mission. Um, I tried several different ways on each one and I just found these to be the most effective ways. And then for one mission in particular that is pretty difficult actually on Insanity if you want to play somewhat aggressively and not just to do exploits, uh, I'll, I'll have a, a full-on guide for that. So right here we'll go to our first planet where we're going to be picking up the Firewalker anti-infantry tank and I'll be cutting out my load screens and things like that but I did want to show the planets that I'm going to just so people can see where this stuff is at and you know it's it's pretty basic but I wanted to show it anyway. Uh, your squad choices right here don't matter at all. Um, I did a, a number of tests by the way on my own to see if you know, does the Firewalker live longer if you have Miranda with you or Tally or something like that? It makes no difference at all. And in fact, none of these missions where you have a squad with you, you'll... Well, I don't, I don't want to necessarily give anything away, but let's just say your squad doesn't really matter all that much. So, I look around... Uh, if you walk around the level outside, you're not going to find anything, so there's nothing really to go on and find. Um... So don't really, uh, you know, no need to waste your time looking for that or anything. And, you know, hacking the door right here and not doing it terribly well. That was a little bit slow. By the way, I don't know if you guys do this in your game if you buy the hacking and bypass upgrades. Uh, I never do. After the first time I played through, I realized, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to spend the 50,000 credits and possibly miss out on an earlier weapon upgrade just to give myself some extra time. I don't think I've ever run out of time on those. I've made mistakes, but I've never run out of time. So anyway, here we go. Here's the uh, hammerhead. And, uh, let me just talk about some general things about this vehicle. For one thing, if you're playing on PC and maybe you ran into this situation, but the buttons that it tells you as to what they do, for example, it says left shift right there is a is how you mine. Uh, I found that wasn't it for me at all. It was uh, V. So if you're having a problem, just go into your settings and you can either look or change your keyboard commands. So I just suggest that you do that as soon as you get in so you're not you know, necessarily flying around here. Um, another thing to note is that the boost on this craft is infinite. So not the, the jump, but the normal uh, speed boost. Uh, when you press the space bar, I'm not sure what it is on Xbox 360, but you have an infinite amount of that, so don't be afraid to just uh, slam on it and use that for your, you know, to increase your jumps and your distance and everything. If it ever seems like you're slowing down in the vehicle with your jumps or just while you're driving, that's probably more of a function of your hammerhead hitting the ground and bouncing around and not it's not that you're running out of juice or anything like that. Um, another thing to note is that when you launch up in the air uh, your momentum is kept as you're going up but once you start to fall back down you lose all of your forward momentum and you'll see that over and over again. But you can kind of keep it up if you hold on the jump button like you saw me there. Now I didn't really talk about this route too much but you can just see this route and uh, how effective that was and how quickly I was able to get through this. You basically just go to your left as soon as you start, come around that left hand side, uh, use your boost to get up on the first platform and then you can just go from point to point. Now there are other ways to do it. You of course can you can actually jump up to any of the, the three lower platforms uh, just using your jump boost but I, I just found that that way was the quickest. And I know I kind of cut the mission description short at the end there. I didn't show all the resources that you're guaranteed to get, but I'll be showing that on 
all the other videos. Another thing I want to note is that you do want to visit your fuel depot in between each of these missions. Most of the time the planet is about 250 or more, I guess, fuel units away from, uh, from where you need to go. So right here you see that you have now, after you beat the tutorial mission, you have these three missions. The top two missions, as far as when you're looking at the map, Geth Incursion and I, uh, Research Station, I believe is the other one. Those are non-combat missions. And this one right here is actually sort of a race. And I actually think this mission was really fun. Uh, I liked it a lot, even though it wasn't too challenging or anything like that. I, I think that the Firewalker pack, this is more of a... Bioware just sort of testing the waters for how this vehicle works and I think they're testing out how people are going to respond to it, what they liked, what they didn't like and I think we'll probably be seeing you know, a few more missions definitely probably some more combat missions after they maybe they might change a few things I could see so right here, uh, this mission is timed, you don't have a timer per se but you're timed in your engine temperature and each time you hit one of these points and collect the data download, you get a little bar, uh, piece of your heat back for your engine. Now, these all these don't actually all deliver the same amount of heat. I don't know why that is, but there's certain ones that you're going to see that give me back a lot more engine heat than others. That is, uh, you know, I don't know why that is, but it's just the way the level works out. Um, one thing to note is try to watch for the if you're having trouble seeing, try to look up in the sky and see the faint outline, the faint red outline. Uh, that's if you're having trouble and whatnot. The other thing is, if you want to keep up your speed, try to use your jumps to a minimum. Because, as I said before, when you're jumping, when you come back down, you've lost all of your boost momentum. So, try to stay on the ground as much as possible. And when you do go off a cliff, do what I did there. Don't jump, just boost off, and you'll continue to keep your momentum. Now, the engine temperature indicator also doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because it goes from normal to cool, back up to normal again, and then down to cold. So, you know, I don't know how that works, but that's just the way they, they uh, that's just the way that my game is working. So, you can also tell how cold your ship is getting by the color it's changing. Uh, it kind of becomes more encrusted with ice the colder the vehicle is. As you can see, the I think the uh, the trickiest part was about two nodes back right there. I would just recommend you stay on that far right side and then hold on the jump button when you go off the cliff. Just so you can preserve your speed and make sure you don't fall down on the left side. Uh, that can cost you a little bit of time as far as trying to get yourself back up. But if you're going from node to node... Uh, like I'm doing here, you're not really going to have too much of a problem with time. As you can see, I've only got one left, and uh, I'm still hanging out at the cool temperature. Another thing to note, I guess, the uh, final thing in this mission right here, just you you can go to the left right there, but if you jump, you can make it all the way across. And so I just found that that was the fastest way to do it. Anyway, yes, Grunt, we are done. Now that's going to be it for these first two missions. Uh, I think my next video, hopefully I'll be able to include all three. Um, although I might make the combat video a separate one, because on Insanity, that mission is definitely not easy. Uh, you die very quickly, and it can be a pretty good challenge. Uh, so right here you can just see all the benefits that you get. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the other videos on my channel, and have a great day.